Hello, this is Amjad Al Mandalawi from Baghdad, Iraq, showing how to make use of a stent enhancement technique using two cases as illustration. The first case is a 56-year-old man who is not diabetic, not hypertensive, and non-smoker. At 2017, he had acute anterior MI at another hospital, did the stenting one week later. The stent was positioned in the ostial LID. Now presented with the angina on minimal exertion, echo showed anterior scar with an ejection fraction of 31%. He did coronary angiography at the other hospital and referred to us for evaluation and PCR. The coronary angiography shows subtotal occlusion of the ostium of the cerc, and there is a stent in the proximal LID extending into the ostium of the LID and possibly covering the ostium of the cerc. So what is the plan? This is a crude depiction of the case. There is a stent in the LID covering the ostium of the cerc. So the plan actually depends on wiring. If you are able to wire through the stent strut into the cerc, then the case is going to be a kilot technique. If your wire goes below the stent strut, actually then you are going to make a crush or inverted crush technique. So we try to go through the struts of the LED stent and we pushed a J-shaped tipped wire into the LED and then we drew the wire to go into the cerc. And this is the wire passing into the cerc and it seems to be intraluminal. However, a 1.5 millimeter balloon didn't pass through the stent struts. So what happened? We passed another wire closer to the first wire and seems to be in a better position. At this time, the balloon passed easily through the stent strut. A stent enhancement showed that the first wire was actually retro stent at the early beginning of the stent. It was probably under expanded or smaller for the artery size, while the second wire passed into intraluminal in the stent and then passed into the circumference. So dilatation was done sequentially with 1.5, 2.5, and then 3 and 3.5 balloons to open the struts of the stent. Another stent enhancement was done. At this time, putting the balloon marker into the LED stent, it showed that our wire is act was actually passing into the most proximal struts of the LED stent. And this is the negative part. You see that we are passing into the most proximal part of the LED stent. So the procedure is going to be actually a mini kilo technique. So what is stent enhancement? It's an algorithm used in most cath labs to improve visualization of struts of the stent. It works by identifying two markers of the balloon positioned inside the stent. Several frames of assigned loops are superimposed, providing a clear image of the stent. How to do it? It's important that you narrow the field around the stent and put the balloon inside the stent, ensure it's not moving exclude other radio opaque structures from the field like the radio opaque part of the wire, try to avoid the spine and the diaphragm, and view the stent without foreshortening. In another case where there was a bifurcation lesion in the proximal LID with a bend, predilatation was done, and here a stent was positioned, the stent deployed, then post dilated with NC balloon to a high pressure, and this is the result. It shows some funny narrowing at the part part of the stent. Further dilatation uh, done, and it, uh, with every dilatation, recoil happened into the stent. So a stent enhancement technique was used and showed fracture of the stent. Actually, there was a near complete dehiscence of the stent. So a smaller stent was used and the, the result was okay. Going back to our case, a 4 by 22 millimeter 
stent was positioned in the proximal cerc extending into the left main stem. The stent was deployed. A stent enhancement showed under expanded mid part of the stent. So it was post dilated by a 40 by 12 balloon up to 20 atmosphere. Kissing inflation was done. And this is the result. Of course, the left main stem needs a diameter more than 4 millimeter. So post dilatation was needed. And we took a balloon 4.5. Stent enhancement was done, and it's very important to localize the balloon inside the stent and avoid post dilatation proximal to the stent. I mean, in a healthy area that is not covered by a stent. And here comes the usefulness again of a stent enhancement technique. So a 4.5 by 8 balloon was inflated to 20 atmosphere. Now we need to do further inflation at the carina and the stent enhancement was useful to position the balloon just before the carina to avoid damaging the carina so another pot was done and this is the final result so the messages are that the stent enhancement is an imaging technique that is useful to follow the wire course to accurately position the balloon and ensure adequate stent expansion. And thank you.